Techniques of differentiation. Basic rules. In previous sections, we introduced the definition of the derivative and discussed examples demonstrating the use of definition in computing derivatives of functions. Also, we looked at examples where the function is not differentiable at the point of discussion. You may have already realized that using the definition to compute derivatives is laborious. This section will derive rules that will help to go around the definition. Each rule can be used to break down the derivative of a complicated function into a combination of derivatives of simple functions whose derivatives are already known. Here is the list of rules. The constant multiple rule states that the derivative of a constant multiplied by a function is the constant multiplied by the original function's derivative. It allows us to change the order of operations. Let's move on to the proof. Let f and g be differentiable at x, a, b and c be real numbers. From the definition, the derivative of the function cf is given by 1. The output of a constant multiple function is the output of the original function times the constant. We get 2. The constant multiple rule for limits allows us to pull out constant c outside of the limit. What remains inside the limit is the derivative of the original function, and we are done. The sum rule states that the derivative of a sum of functions is the sum of their derivatives. It allows us to change the order of operations. Instead of adding two functions and then differentiating, we can first differentiate each function and add the results. Let's move into proof. The definition of derivative gives 1. To add two functions add their outputs, we get 2. Distributing negative sign takes us to 3. The commutative law for real numbers allows us to rearrange terms. We get 4. Applying associative law to 4 gives 5. Applying the sum rule for limits gives 6. First term is the derivative of f, and the second term is the derivative of g. The proof is complete. The product rule says that the derivative of a product of two functions is the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Here one can't simply change the order. Remember that when we change the order, it has to be supported by a rule. It's a luxury when we have such a rule. For example, you have to signal before a lane change when you are driving. One shouldn't give the signal after the lane change. Let's present the proof now. Directly from the definition of the derivative. We get 1. The product of two functions is obtained by multiplying the images of the two functions, hence we get 2. We subtract the same term f of x times g of x plus h. Adding and subtracting the same term will not alter the expression. Associate law allows us to group terms as in 4. The sum rule for limits gives 5. Pulling out common factors gives 6. We move from 6 to 7 by applying the product rule of limits to the yellow first term and pulling out the f, x, term in the orange, second term. Note that f, x, is not affected by the limiting variable h and could treat as a constant. As, a, as h goes to 0, the limit of g of x plus h goes to g of x. As h goes to 0, the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h is the derivative of f. As h goes to 0, the limit of g of x plus h minus g of x over h is the derivative of g. We are done. <laughs>